Hey guys, Corey here from Sky's the Limit Car Care, and today we're going to talk about a line of products that we carry called Race Glaze. The Race Glaze line of products comes out of the United Kingdom. They make some really cool products. Uh, the brushes are probably the most famous. Uh, these brushes have been around for a very long time uh, here in the United States. Uh, they have kind of a cult following. And anybody that's used the Race Glaze brushes knows that you have, you can get by the kit and it comes with these five brushes here. So everything from something really small that gets into really little areas all the way up to like a typical lug brush size and a little, a little bit larger. And those are horsehair brushes. They also sell an XL brush. These go for about 20 bucks or the XL brush is right around the same price, it's a little under $20, uh, but you can see that uh, below with the links. Um, the wax that they carry, they carry a couple waxes. We love their waxes, easy on, easy off, good durability. This one is a hybrid. Um, and then it comes with an applicator. Uh, the wash mitts, these are wool wash mitts. So they come in a variety of different colors. We don't know what color we're gonna get when we order them. So if we order 20 of them, we might get a few that are this color, a few that are the gray, we might get red, brown, we don't know. Um, if you place an order for one of these from us, you can put the color you prefer in the comments and we'll do our best. If you have a couple uh, preferences, you can say if you have any brown or red or you know, tell us what your, your priority is. And if we have it, we'll give it to you in a heartbeat, but we never know what we're gonna have in stock. And so uh, when you order one of these, you'll get whatever color we have, unless you tell us otherwise, and then it's, we'll do our best, but there's no promises. So uh, that's it as far as these uh, in the overview. And then there's the duster, uh, the Merino duster. That's fantastic for pulling just dust off, you, off the top of your car at a car show if people are walking around and getting up dust from dry grass or something where the cars are parked in a car show or if it's sitting in the garage and you got just dust landing on it but nothing real too abrasive, then you can give this a good spin like that to build up a little uh, static and then just barely touch it to the, um, to the surface of the paint. And what you'll find is even if you don't touch it, it almost just pulls the dust right off the top and so that's a good way to do it as long as your car is not dirty, dirty, and it's just a little bit of dust, and that's the only option you have. Um, digging a little deeper into the products, um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, wool mitts. With these types of wool mitts, um, the downside to a wool mitt like this is, as you can see inside, that's, um, let me pull that open for you, that's actually the skin. So what can happen with these mitts, for anybody that's ever had one of these before, they'll know, but... If you haven't and you're thinking about buying one, this is good information to have. Um, the downside to this type of material is that um, if this stays wet, it starts to get slimy and soggy in there. And so that's a good reason to use microfiber over wool um, and rather than get one of these. But if you do prefer the wool and you don't want to do microfiber, then the way to get around that is obviously clean it out really well when you're done. But then you need to actually pop this inside out to let it dry. So you can let the, the other side dry first and then um, pop this inside out you know, within an hour or so. Um, or you can just let it dry from that side and get that side dry first. It's a little bit difficult to get in there with your hands. And so one uh, little known trick is to just take a broomstick or something like that. Um, this is a little flimsy for it. I probably wouldn't use this, but you just take something like that and then you just can push it through if you have something a little stronger like a broomstick. Um, that's basically uh, the only trick that I had for this. Uh, one other thing I would say is the CarPro Merino wool mitt. That one is uh, wool, but it doesn't have the inside skin like that. It just has one side and a net on the other, so you don't run into that issue. Um, when it comes to the brushes, we'll go over those in a little bit more detail, kind of the pros and cons of them. Like I said, cult following, they're great. Um, you get the, all five of those brushes, different sizes. The stiffness the rigidity of the bristles and the length of them, they've got it, Race Glaze has got that dialed in just right to where that's why they have that cult following because they work so well. They're, they're uh, soft enough to where they don't scratch anything, but they also um, have enough uh, grab and enough stiffness, rigidity to them to where you can get into places and get all kinds of stuff out of there. So that's the plus side, the downside, is that these uh, plastic ferrules or uh, whatever you want to call this here, these can crack, um, and that's a well-known thing with these particular brushes. Um, the hardcore race glaze guys, like, we usually never get a complaint about it because the brush itself is so great that people just, 
they'll just wrap it with something if it cracks. Even if you get a little crack in it over time, you know, depending on what chemicals you're using, um, it doesn't fall apart, but those, there, you will eventually get a crack in some of these. And that's just kind of uh, something that comes with the territory with those particular brushes. Uh, even going back 10 years, that's always, that's just been a, a normal thing. And, you know, people just love the brush so much, it doesn't seem to be a, seem to be an issue. It still works better than other, a lot of other brushes. So that's, that's why people love that. Um, with the wax, I already went over that a little bit. Uh, the duster, I think that's pretty much everything, actually. Uh, we'll keep this one pretty short. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to let us know below. We'll be sure to answer those. And uh, all the links to these Race Glaze products are below. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That helps us make great content for you. And again, we really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.